Hello, everybody, and welcome to day seven of the hundred days of narration challenge. Uh, today seems to be as good as any a day, since I'm one week into the challenge, to uh, do the whole, like, guess what book this is. I'm not going to tell you what this book is. Um, you're going to have to try and guess what it is. Uh, the prize is a 30 second MP3 from yours truly for whatever you want me to do. More information in, in the introduction. So go back and see that if you haven't seen that already. Um, so if you can guess what the book is, uh, PM me with a book title and possibly the author, but you know, just the book title will do it by itself. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and also ch make sure before you do that, make sure to check the about section to make sure that somebody hasn't already guessed it, because when somebody has guessed it, I'll just put the title in there and, um, I'll probably put some caption on the video itself as well. Uh, yeah, so I guess let's have a look at this book and see if you can guess what it is. Ha ha. Do 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 Oh, oh, sorry. I was just humming to myself. That certainly wasn't a clue or anything to the possibility of what this book's identity may be in regards to its name that I haven't revealed to you at all. True song. <clears throat> but yeah, okay, so let's have a look at page 463. Wow, it's a pretty long book. I never realized that. <clears throat> and that's what he was. A single cell of bacteria. A plague germ and the planet's autoimmune system was rejecting him. No, the idea was preposterous. It was insane. Hunger and weariness were fueling his paranoia. The Earth didn't have an intelligence. It didn't live. It was a ball of stone. He stood in the shelter of George Washington's left nostril and started to compose a list of humankind's many magnificent achievements. For some inexplicable reason, the first thing that popped into his adult head was the musical toilet roll dispenser, before a sheet of lightning ignited the rain, sending a curtain of flame sweeping across the face of the mountain, scorching black all five presidents, and sending Lister hurtling back oh, sorry, and sending Lister hurtling back into the far recess of Washington's nasal passage. A second sheet had ignited, blasting Lister out of the nose, sending him scurrying across the mounds of garbage which were alive with which were alive with rivers of fire. God, I hate anything with the word with in it. With. With rivers of fire. Do it then! Lister screamed. Come on! Kill me! His fingers dug into the putrefying sludge and flung it up and flung it skywards. Kill me! Come on! What are you waiting for? Surrounded by lakes of fire and exploding geysers of oil, Lister screamed and ranted at the earth. He ducked his head under his arm as two bursts of flaming rain strafed either side of the mound he was standing on. Lister collapsed on his knees on the smoldering garbage. I could do something, he sobbed. I could help. I could. If you let me live, I could even... If you let me live, I could start to make it right again. I could. He blacked out. As consciousness slowly, pe as consciousness slowly percolated back into his body... He was aware of the rain. He groaned and raised his head. It was rain rain. Real rain. H2O. The stuff of life. He rolled on his back and opened his mouth. All around him, tails of smoke wriggled skywards from the few puddles of fire that still remained. That's nice. That's nice. They, this is one of those books where they actually start a sentence and end a sentence on the page, as opposed to doing that stupid wraparound thing, which is horrible. So that was the first pass. Did you guess what novel this is yet? No? Did you guess? It might be a little bit esoteric for some of you. I don't know. I mean, I read this when I was in high school. God, I read lots of things when I was in high school, but it was... um. It's based upon a very popular TV series. Yes? Yes? No? No. Okay. All right. It recently had a revival and was pretty good. Still nothing. Okay. All right.
whatever you guys you you you, you just you just don't exp- you just don't appreciate the classics you just don't appreciate the classics okay second round of this that's what he was a single cell of bacteria a plague germ and the planet's autoimmune system was rejecting him no the idea was preposterous it was insane hunger and weariness were fueling his paranoia the Earth didn't have an intelligence. It didn't live. It was a ball of stone. He stood in the shelter of George Washington's left nostril and started to compose a list of humankind's many magnificent achievements. For some inexplicable reason, the first thing that popped into his adult head was the musical toilet roll dispenser before a sheet of lightning ignited the rain, sending a curtain of flame sweeping across the face of the mountain, scorching black all five presidents, and sending Lister hurtling back into the far recess of Washington's nasal passage. A second sheet ignited, blasting Lister out of the nose, sending him scuttering across the mounds of garbage which were alive with rivers of fire. Do it then, Lister screamed. Come on, kill me! His fingers dug into the putrefying sludge and flung it skywards. Kill me! Come on! What are you waiting for? Surrounded by lakes of fire and exploding geysers of oil, Lister screamed and ranted at the earth. He ducked his head under his arm as two bursts of flaming rain strafed each... Oh, damn it. As two bursts of flaming rain strafed either side of the mound he was standing on. Either side of the mound he was standing on. Lister collapsed on his knees to the. Lister collapsed on his. Oh, sorry. Lister collapsed to his knees on the smoldering garbage. I could do something. He sobbed. I could help. I could. If you let me live, I could start to make it right again. I could. He blacked out. As consciousness slowly percolated back into his body, he was aware of the rain. He groaned and raised his head. It was rain, rain. Oh, wait, try that one again. He groaned and raised his head. It was rain rain. Real rain. H2O. The stuff of life. He rode on his back and opened his mouth. All around him, tails of smoke wriggled skyward from the few puddles of fire that still, re- that still remained. Okay, so that was the second pass. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm I'm getting pretty good at this. I think getting pretty good at this. Can you guess what the novel is yet? Can you? Can you? God, I hope I didn't choose something that nobody will get. It'll be really embarrassing. Or maybe lots of people will get it. In which case, I need to pick something harder next time. But um, we'll try it again. Uh, one more pass at this. That's what he was. A single cell of bacteria, a plague germ, and the, and the planet's autoimmune system was rejecting him. No, the idea was preposterous. It was insane. Hunger and weariness were fueling his paranoia. The Earth didn't have an intelligence. It didn't live. It was a ball of stone. He stood in the shelter of George Washington's left nostril and started to compose a list of humankind's many manic- many magnificent achievements. For some inexplicable reason, the first thing that popped into his adult head was the musical toilet roll dispenser, before a sheet of lightning ignited the rain, sending a curtain of flame sweeping across the face of the mountain, scorching black all five presidents, and sending Lister hurtling back into the far recess of- Okay... And sending, and sending Lister hurtling back into the far recess of Washington's nasal passage. A second sheet, igni- a second sheet ignited. Wow, my third pass is actually worse than my second pass. That's, that's, uh, that's great. <clears throat> a second sheet ignite, a second sheet ignited. I can't say that word anymore. I did say it the previous times, but not this time. A second sheet ignited, blasting Lister out of the nose. Blasting Lister out of the nose, sending him scurrying across the mounds of garbage which were alive with rivers of fire. Which were alive with rivers of fire. God, I keep swallowing these sounds. Which were alive with rivers of fire. I guess I get too com- If I get too comfortable with it, then I start 
just skipping out and on on the ends of words and the starts of words and the middle of words. In fact, I just do this. I just bob the, the words across that. Do it then! Lister screamed. Come on! Kill me! His fingers dug into the putri putrefying sludge and flung it... Wow, I had no trouble with the word putrefying the previous two times. Why now? Dear Lord. His fingers dug into the putrefying sludge and flung it skywards. Kill me! Come on! What are you waiting for? Surrounded by lakes of fire and exploding geysers of oil, Lister screamed and ranted at the earth. He ducked his head under his arm as two... He ducked his head under his arm as two bursts of flaming rain strafed, each, strafed either side of the mound he was standing on. Lister collapsed to his knees on the smoldering garbage. I could do something, he sobbed. I could help. I could. If you let me live, I could start to make it right again. I could. He blacked out. As consciousness slowly percolated back into his body, he was aware of the rain. He groaned and raised his head. It was rain rain. Real rain. H2O. The stuff of life. He rode on his back and opened his mouth. All around, all around him, tails of smoke wriggled skyward from the few puddles of fire that still remained. Okay, so that was book seven of the, uh, well, day seven, book seven of the 100 Days of Narration Challenge. Uh, as I said, if you can guess what it is, um, PM me. Uh, be sure to check the About section first to make sure that somebody else hasn't already done that. And uh, yeah, you get to have a 30 second message from me for whatever you want to know, whatever, whatever, you know, or whatever. Check out the introduction. Um, video to learn more okay so that's it then for day seven tomorrow day eight